Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy Montre, also known as Frat Brother. I want to talk to some talk about something that's very dear to uh, my heart. Uh, that's because it's uh, it's affecting me. It's affecting me. And it's called the Mandela Effect. And for those that don't know about the Mandela Effect, uh, it's something uh, Nelson Mandela. People, there are people who have two memories of Nelson Mandela. Some people believe that Nelson Mandela died in the eighties. Uh, some people believe that Nelson Mandela, I included, uh, believe that Nelson Mandela got out of prison and did a lot of things for the world. He ran for president of South Africa, did a lot of important things, made a big influence on the world around us. And then recently died a, a few years ago, but made a big impact on the world. And that's the timeline that we are currently in. That's the one that I remember. But some people don't remember that world, but they are a part of this world now. Um, so the, the Mandela effect talks about people who have a residual memory of an old world that doesn't exist anymore. And that's OK. There are some other things that I have memory of that don't exist anymore. And I was talking about Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. And I am a big fan of Anne Rice. <laughs> and so I read the books. I bought the movie. Uh, I was disappointed on one of the new movies that it came out. And I was like, oh, the Queen of the Dam. Did not like that movie. It was done really bad, but the book was great. Um, so uh, I was very familiar with the book being called Interview with a Vampire. But now that I look up, it's called interview with the vampire and i thought well that's weird did they ch why did they change the name of the book and the movies were called interview with the vampire the vampire chronicles and i was like well this is confusing and i went to her website and everything had changed um all the books were named that or, or that particular novel was named that and i've just found it really peculiar because um uh, it, it just didn't resonate with my memory of what had happened. But I realized that there's a lot of things that have changed and um, in our history. And I don't want to get all into uh, the end of the world type attitude or uh, there are people who make videos and they're talking about, you know, the devil's doing this and, you know, Christian this and Christian that. And I'm not a Christian, so I'm not going to even go there. I'm a deist. I'm a philosopher. I really see things on a metaphysical level. So what I'm thinking is that the universe is alive and the universe is rebooting itself. We're moving into a new age. We're moving into a new earth. We're moving into a new heaven. We're moving into a new sense of spirituality and a new mindset. And the universe is rebooting itself. And I think we need to see this as not a scary thing because when we have memories, and then we look back and we see that, oh my God, things have changed. And your friends don't remember it, but you do. You can keep it to yourself or share it with people who do have those memories. But understand that uh, your consciousness was a part of an old world and now you've ascended to a new world. And the reason why most people around you probably don't have that memory is because they're being rebooted as well. And they, they're being upgraded as well. And so they may not have memory of any of this, any of the old ways. And there have been some other examples. The Berenstain Bears is spelling, whether it's spelled with an E or an A. Currently is now spelled with an A. Um, Snow White, uh, Disney Snow White, the evil queen. Is she saying mirror, mirror on the wall? Or is she saying magic mirror on the wall? Uh, in the past, uh, the history that I remember it was mirror mirror on the wall well currently if you go check on youtube she's saying magic mirror on the wall and these things seem very little and trivial but it's kind of mind-blowing a few people are into star wars right now and luke i am your father very famous line people were like yeah that's the line in uh, empire strikes back well you go back on youtube and check it it says no I am your father. So that whole line has been scratched. 
actually the whole scene is different if you look at it it's not even the same scene it's a little bit slower um uh so not only the line and the scene look quite different so there are some changes that have happened and when you try to explain it to people people think oh you just misheard it or you know you're wrong you know that's only because they are a part of this timeline they are a part of of the reboot everything is the same to them or they do notice the differences and they're just trying to rationalize it some people are very uh rational minded um left brain type people and they they don't want to think that maybe the universe or probability or time space and all that stuff can happen because we don't have proof of that um so they rather just kind of stick with what they know and so <laughs> uh whatever they see they believe and that's it of course seeing is not believing i really believe that you can create your reality uh right now reality is kind of creating itself but i think we're all a part of that and the universe is rebooting itself and we're moving into a new age we're moving into the age of aquarius i've already said that 2000 y2k we said oh nothing happened but i think something did happen uh, on a spiritual level in 2012 i think something happened on a spiritual level so i think we're still ascending and for those people who have memory of old things do not be afraid but this is now the time to really focus and meditate and consciously create your world consciously create yourself so that you can be the best version of yourself as we move on into this new year this new future do not let fear and negative thoughts take over um don't let the news feed negativity to into your head and have you thinking about that all day don't listen to trump turn trump off turn the kardashians off turn all that negativity off and really take time for yourself and focus on what you want to create into this world because this world is rebooting itself like a computer that says hey are you ready to install the next update and installing update in four hours and then your com your computer shuts down and boots it back up and next you know you got some new software on your computer that's really cool and the old software is gone and that's what's happening i really believe with the universe right now is that a lot of old software that's obsolete is getting deleted and something new is being replaced with it and sometimes that's history and how we saw things and now we're seeing things in a new light and the probabilities and the things that have happened because everything has happened according to what schrodinger's cat everything has happened all the probabilities have happened and the best possible outcome is the one that is becoming the history that we are living in this current life i know it's a lot it's really deep i'm sorry if i took you there um if you do have some mandela uh, effect issues or you have some memories feel free to talk to me i am very open-minded about these kind of things if you don't know anything about it please google it check it out and check out different forums see what people are talking about go on reddit and see what people are talking about um but something is happening in the world and you're not crazy you're not you're not crazy all right guys i'll talk to you later remember if you don't do it then who will peace out